guys, I'm back with a new tutorial about Android and this time we're gonna face the Dropbox API and how to use this in a very simple way. Once you're logged in into your Dropbox account, you just go to dropbox.com slash developer slash core. Here you click on install Android SDK and then again on download. Then you go to app console and create a new Dropbox app. It should be Dropbox API. Then hit no, select all types and give it a name. What you see here is your app key and your app secret. We're gonna need that later, so don't close the tab. You can already hit the generate button to get an access token key, which we're also gonna need later. For now we're done with the Dropbox stuff, so let's focus on the Android Studio now. I just create a new project, put four buttons there and implement them in the main Java file. Guess you all know how that works. Once you're done with that, go to the link in the description to download my source code from mega.nz. Just open that and while we're already in the onCreate method, copy the code from the text file and put it into your onCreate method. For sure it will cause errors, but never mind, they will disappear soon. Then we're gonna go to your Android manifest and just copy all the code from the text file there. Okay, it's time to implement the Dropbox stuff we've downloaded in the beginning. Select your project view of your app and navigate to libraries. Then extract the zip file you got from Dropbox, navigate to libs again and put the two jar files via drag and drop to your lib. So now go again to your text file and copy all the source code for the build.gradle. In the Android view of your app, there is a section called Gradle scripts and what you need is the gradle.build with your ads, the cake version and application ID on top. So make sure you see that, because there are two documents called actually the same. Just paste the two lines in the very bottom of your Gradle file, as you can see here, and then click Sync Project. So one last time, open your text file and copy the main source code to your main Java file. You just have to import all the classes by hitting the Alt and Enter key. But be careful with the progress listener, you need the one from Dropbox, so the bottom one. In all my projects I create a public string called path and this gives me just the home location of all my files for this app. Just create a file called deer and in the on create type in deer.mkdeers which creates this folder. So now link your code to your Dropbox by copying the app key, the app secret and the access token to your code. So right now we are actually done with coding. I've provided you four methods you can use. The first one is to upload a file from a given path. So type in upload to Dropbox from path and put in the path of your file on your smartphone and as a second argument the location in your Dropbox. The second method is to upload a file from another app you can select. So just go upload to Dropbox from selected app and as an argument type in the location and the name but actually no file ending as JPEG or something like that. The method will do it itself. The third one is actually the same, so put in the location in the name and again no file ending. The last method you can use is to download a file from your Dropbox. As in the first one, just put in the location and the name where it will be on your smartphone and the path in your Dropbox. So that's it, let's see what this app does. Once it started, you can switch to your file manager and see that the folder on the very top was created. I've put the file in there, which I call textfile.txt. So back to our app. If you hit upload with fixed path, you see that the missing folder in my Dropbox is automatically created with the file in it I just uploaded. The same works for the second button. This is very nice to send images, because you can select them with your standard gallery app. And the last one works with all files you want to upload, for example such as PDF or something like that. If you hit the download button, of course it will download the file from your Dropbox to your smartphone. So for now that's it. If I help you, just leave a like here and if you want to know how you auto-update your app with the Dropbox API, just click here. See you next time.